bipartisan movement in Congress to protect an American pastime. Last year, we told you about how certain automakers were looking to get rid of AM radios in their vehicles. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner tunes you in on why it's so important to so many people. Over the past year or so, there's been some worry about car makers potentially eliminating AM radio in their newer models. But if you're listening closely, you'll find that the AM band could soon be etched in American stone. Turn this up, please. Over 80 million people listen to AM radio. Val Carolyn with radio powerhouse Salem Media has worked with the AM band for 40 years. We're local, we're reliable, we're dependable. So he wasn't surprised that not long after Ford announced it was getting rid of AM on 2024 models. They're making a big mistake. The legacy car maker backtracked. AM radio is the basis for our, this nation's emergency alert system. That's because it can broadcast over huge distances, even without antennas, which can be a tremendous lifeline for sports radio, rural communities, and when natural disasters strike. We saw it in horribly in Hawaii last year. We've seen it in Florida over the, during the hurricanes in the last five years. So Congress is in the process of making sure it doesn't go anywhere with the AM radio for every vehicle act. This has been a tremendously bipartisan effort. A subcommittee of the House Energy and Commerce Committee will meet on April 30th to fine tune the details. But if AM radio is so important, why are we having this discussion? Automotive manufacturers are changing or working to change the model of how you own a car. They want to go to a subscription model. Any legislation is likely to nip paying for AM radio in the bud. And we believe that AM radio and FM radio should be made free. So as the world keeps changing, that lifeline remains available to everyone. I think it's important and it's vital. In Drive Time, Joshua Skinner. Hey, this guy's pretty good. Atlanta News First.